Welcome to education.pattylyons.com, a new and exciting addition to my website. This will be the home of all my new classes, and I will be migrating my old technique and project classes over to the new platform. This will also be a place where we can host live events. Let's look around. From my main website, you can find the education platform under the tab Learn. You might also be directed to a specific class page from a blog or from a landing page of one of my knit-alongs, like this one here from Webs, that will take you directly to a class page. From there, you'll be prompted to sign in or sign up. You will need to create a free account, even if you already have an account on pattylions.com, as the education platform is a separate checkout from the main site but you can use the same email and login. From the Sign In Sign Up tab, you'll be prompted to sign in again if you're an existing student or create a new account. Using a password keeper like Keychain or Dashlane, if you run into any issues logging in with a password tool, just type in your password manually or copy paste it into the password field. Once you sign in, you'll arrive at your dashboard. Your dashboard has all the courses you've enrolled in, and it also has all the community groups. Community groups are a great place to gather with other knitters, share pictures, and chat. There's a community group for all the main classes with a separate thread for each project class. In addition, there's a separate community group for any project class that was a knit along. We'll come back to the dashboard in a second. From here, you're on the home page of the education platform. You have your class categories. There are three class categories, project classes, technique classes, and live classes. There's a separate video specifically for tips on how to take a live class, so be sure to check that out as well. And you also have links that will take you back to the main shopping area like DVDs and digital downloads, or project kits. Just hit the back button and you'll return back to the education site. You'll find student testimonials, the link to free tutorials, and the site is optimized for tablets, phones, laptops, computers, so take that class on the go. You'll also find a list of frequently asked questions just click on the carrot to find the answer. From the footer, you can return to the main education home, your courses, or contact us. Let's take a look at your dashboard. If you've pre-enrolled for a class that hasn't started yet, it will say coming soon. If you see a class that you've already begun, you'll have the chance to replay the class if you've finished it or rate the course. Let's take a look at the class player. From the class player, you'll see the percentage that you have completed. Here I have completed this class, but I'm playing it again. And you have your class sections over here. This tells you how many lessons are in each chapter. You can click on the carrot to expand them. If you're on a mobile device, tablet, or just a smaller computer screen, you may need to click on the menu icon, which is the three horizontal lines, to see your lessons. The menu will pop open from the left side of the screen. You might have a video lesson, or a text lesson, or a multimedia lesson, or a quiz. Each lesson is labeled with its contents, so you know what to expect. Don't forget to scroll down to see the full lesson, as many lessons have additional information underneath their videos. You can play a video lesson from within your course player. You can expand it to full screen. And of course, pause whenever you like. Not seeing a video, even though the lesson is labeled as a video lesson, just click on your browser's refresh button and most of the time the video will load right away. You can also hit refresh if you have any issues scrolling down or loading a lesson. If you have additional technical issues, 
be sure to check the troubleshooting section of the website. Ready to move on? Click Continue to advance to the next lesson. You might also have links within the lesson that take you outside the site to a shopping area to purchase yarn. It will open in a new tab, so just click the old tab to return where you were. Click Continue to advance to the next lesson. Some lessons will have a discussion. If you see this little tab in the upper right hand corner that says discussion and you have a question, just click on it and you can start a new post. I encourage you to post your questions in the discussion threads so that they can help other people taking the class rather than sending them in an email or on my Ravelry group. It truly helps your fellow classmates when we all learn from one another. Once you finish, you can click the X or click the discussion again to return to the player. Anytime you want to see anything full screen, just click the full screen button and the list of lessons disappears. Click it again and you'll be back to the list of lessons. You can skip ahead or skip continue to move on to the next lesson. Want to go back to a previous lesson? No problem. Click on the lesson's name in the class chapter menu to go back and review lessons one at a time. Let's take a look at that on mobile too. Video lessons come with closed captions. All video lessons will have English closed captions, but if you would like closed captions in another language, just email classes at pattylyons.com and let us know what language you'd like us to add and we'll take care of it. You can also download a video lesson with this little download button in the upper right hand corner. This allows you to keep working even if you're going to be offline. Downloading your videos ahead of time is really helpful if you're traveling or will have limited internet later on. Want to slow down or speed up a video? You can change the speed on your video player. You might have a quiz just to keep things interesting to see how you're learning. And when you finish the class, you'll be directed to your completion page with a prompt to leave a review. We love to hear your feedback and your rating helps others discover the class. Plus, you can get your certificate of completion. When you're within the class player, anytime you want to go back to the dashboard, just click Go to Dashboard and you go right back to your page. Want to connect with other students? Be sure to check out the community groups you'll be automatically enrolled with when you purchase your class. You can also meet people interested in my content on my Ravelry group. Final tip, be sure to check out our FAQ page for questions on common issues. I've documented the questions I get most frequently and how you can address them. So it's the fastest way to get answers from the site. Stay tuned as I add more classes and migrate over older content onto this platform. I can't wait to grow this platform with you and I can't wait to see what you learn.